Flamingo, Harry's. It should have been Sally's. Right, Harry met Sally? All right, am I just insane? All right, guys, I'm about to jump into the shower. You probably hear it in the background. But before I do, I'm gonna send a shout out to my boy, Chris, from across the pond, the Geek of Shives because I'm about to do something a little different in this video. Now, I'm always looking for new razors to try because I'm just like a razor geek, <laughs> right? And I happened upon this brand, the Flamingo. And I'm like, wow, this is really cool, it looks great. And then somewhere along that journey, I realized this was made for women. And then at some point I realized that this was essentially the companion to the Harry's brand of razor. Flamingo, Harry's. It should have been Sally's. Right, Harry met Sally? All right, jokes aside. And every time I'm at a Target, I look at this Flamingo brand of razors. And you know, people have asked me jokingly to try the woman's branded razor so today i'm going to do just that i'm going to jump in the shower i'm going to jump out i'm going to do a test can you use the flamingo and get good results on your beard i'm going to find out next and before i jump in i'm going to be using harry's foaming shave gel and following everything up today with harry's Post shave mist. What are we waiting for? Jump in the shower. And I can't take you in the shower because it's just not that type of show. It should have been Sally's. Right, Harry? Met Sally? Alright. Okay, fresh out of the shower, guys. And I like to leave moisture on my face. The shower has steamed up and opened up the pores. And I like to leave that that moisture there aids with the shave. I'll add a little bit more warm water right before I get going. But first, let's do a proper unboxing of this, of this Flamingo Razor. Blades for a smooth shave, 360 degree comfort. System helps protect skin from irritation. It's got a polished chrome, and this has the weighted handle. All right, and it comes with a little magnetic little holder there which is nice flamingo all right let's open this up very nicely done on the packaging end and when we open this up you've got this very nice chrome and rubber handle here it is oh it's not magnetic it's a it's a su suction cup so you could suction that on Put that right there. Suction it onto the, the tile in your shower or your mirror. Now let's look at the, the business end of the unit. So you've got five blades. And yes, Chris, the spot welds are on the blades. And it's got lots of protection. This is what I would refer to as your bumper guards, like bumper cars. So that seems like it will protect your skin 360 degrees around that blade pivoting head lubrication strip up top feels sturdy feels well made interested to see how this will go let's compare it to a harry's razor now similar but different harry's has a nice weight to it nice weighted feel to it solid metal core around a nice rubberized handle. Now, the pivot on Flamingo is more of a mechanical pivot, and the pivot on Harry's is like on rubber straps. So I'm gonna call that more of an organic pivot, which I like. Much less rubberized bumper control you have a similar loop strip up top. You have the patented precision trimmer on the back, which you don't need, which you don't need for the typical flamingo consumer. 
but maybe we'll change that. But very similar. On this side of the face, I'm gonna be shaving with Harry's. On this side of the face, I'll be shaving with the Flamingo. What am I waiting for? Let's get cracking. Does it matter? What will shave better? Am I just insane? We're gonna find out. All right, a little bit of warm water. I've been running about a week's worth of stubble here. And I see a gnat. Am I just insane? All right. I'm loving this Harry's foaming shave gel, guys. A little bit. And the hand. And I'll apply it right to the face. I'll start on the right side of my face. So I'll only apply the gel right now to this side of the face. I'm going to switch up the order. I'll start with the flamingo. I'm going to start and shave with the grain of the hair on my face, which grows downward. So we'll start. Oh, that's smooth. That's smooth. Very, very nice, guys. Wow. And very protective. So I don't feel like I'm in any way in jeopardy of cutting myself, nicking myself. Very interesting. Let's nip through the stubborn bits of stubble. And that's on my chin in and around the nooks and crannies, my nose. Very, very nice. Lots of lubrication. And just tons of protection. All right, so what we're gonna do now is the hair on my neck is growing upwards primarily. So I'll switch the angle of the razor and I'll shave upward. And there's not a care in the world, guys. Not a worry. See that? Just a very, very pleasant experience thus far. Very nice. Okay, no weeps, no nicks, no tugs. Now under here, since there's so much of this cushioning, kind of hard to get up into that area. But we'll figure it out on the cross grain approach. Let's we'll see if we can get there. I don't know. There's a lot of protection everywhere you go. So that may be the drawback. And specifically designed for women who don't really need that trimming up in certain sections, you know? That precision trimming like we need under our nose. Maybe if we're going to outline a goatee. But so far, they're so very good. Very smooth, guys. Now I'll put this on a little bit thicker. I'll lighten it out just to make things even. And now we'll go with the Harry's. Again, same technique. Very nice. I feel the sharpness of these blades. I feel a lot more control. And as you can see, I'm more comfortable. And I've used these Harry's blades or Harry's razors 
in the past. Same five blades, guys. Oh, and there is a weeper. Look at that. Did not see that. I made quick work of that first pass on my face. Now I'm noticing a little bit more clogging with my Harry's. But that's no problem. We know the remove the clog technique. Push down with your thumb. Pull those hairs out this way. All right. Let's flip the blade. And attend to the first pass. You hear the feedback, guys? So much better control. Much more reach. To get to those hairs on my face sharper or more exposure to the blades but no weepers now i have used this many many times in the past but i believe the overall design you know purpose built right i can get right up under my nose. If I needed an extra reach, I could use that precision trimmer. I could use it to trim here, to cut out areas like a goatee or a line here, line up a beard. So you have that. All right, warm water. Am I just insane? And I'll do the field test. Not the field, the feel. Comparable first passes to the touch. Let's go with pass number two. We're going to go with a cross grain pass. And again, I'll start on the right side of my face with Flamingo or Sally's, Sally's, Sally's. Should have been named Sally's, Harry and Sally. What the hell is a Flamingo anyway? What does it have to do with shaving? Do Flamingo shave? All right, here we go. All right, cross grain approach. Just cross. Nice, firm, yet not digging. Firm, yet light strokes. Still feels very smooth. I just can't get under the nose because of that 360 degree bumper guards. And there you go. Second pass in the books. More near hot water. A little bit more cream or gel. Oh, nice. Nice, precise, even strokes. You hear that feedback, guys? Ah, oh, yeah. Very nice. Take your time with these. Strokes, guys, a cross grain stroke. You can get into some trouble if you're applying too much pressure. You just want to glance across the skin. Got a weeper here. So 
So it's even Steven for weepers. One weeper using the Flamingo and one weeper using Harry's. Okay. Last and final pass is going to be what I consider to be the get right pass. So I've actually recorded this after the shave. And the more I think about this Flamingo, this might be the perfect device to do head shaves because of the 360 degree bumper control, very smooth. I don't know. I will never know personally because I probably will never do a head shave. Never say never, but, but food for thought, guys. Am I just insane? So I'm feeling pretty nice and baby's bottom smooth. And this last pass against the grain it just refines that shave. More near hot water. And just a little bit more gel. I'm going to apply the gel all at once this time. I'm going to try to make this a quick deal. With your final pass, guys, you just want to, you're not looking to do too much. Glancing your razor against the grain just to catch any of those hairs that it might have you might have missed so hair grows down we're gonna flip the blade we're gonna shave up and we're just gonna gently Shave against the grain, catching any of those hairs, like I said, that you may have missed. As you feel a grab or a tug, ease up. This is not supposed to hurt. Oh, hair on your neck grows down, so we'll flip to the traditional handle finish up. Adam's apple, we can slide to the side. We can also swallow and hold it, which takes the Adam's apple out of play. So swallow, hold it, and shave down. All right. All righty. The Flamingo is in the clubhouse, chilling. All right, here we go. Same maneuver on this side. Flip the blade. And you hear that feedback. So you have much more exposure to the blades with Harry's, guys. And again, because of the form factor, you can get up into the nooks and crannies. I'll do that. Let's come down to the final few strokes. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. So final thoughts on the shave. Lots and lots of protection here, but designed for shaving areas on the body, legs. You could probably manscape a little bit with this in certain areas, maybe under the arms. If you're looking to do detail work around your nose, around your beard, you want to line up a, a goatee, and edge here, it's not going to work for you. But in a pinch, grab the flamingo, right? If your lady friend has one, check it out. Harry's, great shave for the everyday. Uh, lots of contact with the skin, with the hair. Lots of precision, good feel to it. It's one of my favorites. But both pretty damn good. I mean, I could get away with using this in a pinch. And as you can see, I didn't come, I didn't come out all bloody, right? I didn't get nicked up. Lots of protection. All right, so the final thing we're going to do... Am I just insane? 
I'll splash some cold water on, close the pores, and we'll get ready for our post-shave mist. Nothing like a nice Sunday shave. Very nice, guys. Pat the skin. Try to pat the skin dry. And here is one of my, another one of my favorite products. This is Harry's Post Shave Mist with botanical extracts, guys. You just spray it on. Ah, yeah. Dries real quick. Smells really nice. Ah, yeah. And you're looking and feeling like a million bucks. All right, so the only thing I need to do now is get with my Harry's and get right under my big nose because I couldn't reach it with Flamingo. And that's it. Again, I want to thank my buddy Chris the Geekishais from the UK. He didn't really ask me to shave with Flamingo, but we had a nice discussion around the business end of these products. So look for his YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to it below, and maybe he'll talk to you about Flamingo in the near future. But that's it, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you again soon. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow or the next day or the next week or the next month. <laughs> but in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. Now roll the music. music.